Yes. <laughs> um, so, sorry for the possibly terrible audio. I'm recording this on my phone. Um, but this is a fun little speed painting I decided to do. I've been wanting to do these for a little while, so hopefully I can do some more for you guys. Um, this is a watercolor painting I did over the summer, actually. Finally <laughs> got around to um, editing the video thanks to a friend. Um, but in this, it was actually a um, little quote part from uh, a song by Echo Smith. Um, it's a really, really like good song. I like it a lot, <laughs> just because it talks about space. Um, that's a really fun thing in my life. <laughs> um, but I originally made a different drawing, um, and then I posted it on my Instagram, and realized after doing so, I misspelled some words. Um, one was kind of hard to see. It was shooting. I forgot the T. The second was Neptune. I forgot the U in Neptune. And then, so I decided to redo it. And I, I kind of love this one actually a lot. Um, doing it a second time around, I was able to space the letters out more. And it just looks more cohesive in that sense. Um, and so it was just really great like to redo it and fix my spelling mistakes. Um, I'm not an English major by any means. Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to do STEM, uh, some engineering, so <laughs> my spelling is not the greatest thing in the world. But if you see on this, so I was using watercolor paper, and um, these are just like some basic uh, watercolor sets that you can buy. It's not the most expensive, fanciest thing in the world. Um, I don't have that kind of money. Um, but as you can see, it kind of, there's that little bit there where it changed. Uh, that was when I let it dry. So when you're doing watercolor, I mean, I don't know if these are supposed to be informational or not, but I'll give you a little what I do. Uh, watercolor will very much dry lighter than what the actual pigmentation is so you can see how that new part i'm putting down is just very dark and very rich in color versus the almost white with the way the, the, way the camera picks it up so i just decided to go back through again darken up some areas and add a bit more color um so the background is a little bit like galaxy inspired a bit nothing too crazy just a mess of some colors I didn't get too dark with it because um, I'm still learning as I go myself with this stuff but um, I wanted it to be sort of galaxy like so it's just a soft probably more pastel galaxy if you will um, probably could have gone in and added stars if I really wanted to, um, it's not that hard to do. You can just take a toothbrush or a very, very thick, uh, not thick, uh, stiff bristled uh, brush and take some dry paint and just flick, flick it at the drawing. Sorry. <laughs> um, and that's a really great way to get stars. And then you can go back through with a tiny uh, paintbrush and fix them up that way. Uh, as you just saw there, there was a little bit of the old drawing. <laughs> um, it's it's a little a hot mess um and right here i'm going through with the lettering lettering is actually like a really fun thing to do it's just really relaxing um <laughs> and it was really interesting with this because i wanted all the uh, little bits of the sentences to be not they're not sentences little bits of the phrases to be different fonts just because I really wanted to experiment with a bunch of different stuff. And so it was really interesting. I googled just fancy fonts and stuff and ended up finding like these really interesting ones and just kind of blended them all together. I was trying to do a little bit of a mix of a thick lettered se uh, segment and then a thin lettered segment. I didn't do it perfect that way, but I was still like trying to show a little bit of contrast with that. Um, 
And yes, I'm just using a mechanical pencil. <laughs> Don't chew me out for that. I do have actual drawing pencils. Um, but over the summer, I was staying with my sister and didn't have access to a whole bunch of my art supplies. So I was just doing what I could with <laughs> what I decided to bring. Um, which, oddly, I decided to bring watercolors. <laughs> um, but when you're drawing on uh, watercolor, I didn't put any sealant on this beforehand. Uh, you just want to make sure that when you are writing, you're very, very light with what you write. Because if you make a mistake and you have to erase it, the eraser will pick up some of the pigment from the watercolor and you could lose all that really good color you had just gotten. Um, so you can't really see all that well what, um, like losing pigment and stuff like that. Um, but it, it does happen. I noticed it. <laughs> um, so actually you can see here, I, um, put two T's in bright. That was an easy fix that I did later on, but you can see that the bottom, uh, part of the eye doesn't have, <laughs> it doesn't have the bottom slash through it. Uh, I actually, once again, posted it on Instagram that way. <laughs> so that was an interesting little tidbit. Um, and then it's just, I just used one size Sharpie because, again, it's all I decided to bring to my sisters over the summer. Um, you could probably use, like, better Sharpies and that sort of stuff or any marker, really. Uh, I do have some thinner pens and different widths of things that probably would have helped out a lot with this but I just decided to go through with uh, it's still like a fairly sharp pointed marker um, but it, it did the job that I wanted it to do <laughs> um, but it's actually just looking at it is really fun to me and just it looks good <laughs> I'm I'm proud of it and um, I actually shared this and funny story the <laughs> official page for uh, Echo Smith liked it, and oh my god, that, that made my week. It was a really interesting and great feeling just to have that happen. Um, and right here, I'm going through with paint to make a little border, just because I felt it needed something. Um, I would have gone through with white pens, but at the time I didn't own any that were good and didn't have them with me and my sisters. Um, but yeah, so this is my drawing, and I hope you guys like it, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out here. Um, you guys can check out my Instagram that I've been mentioning, it's can.alex.art. Um, so yeah, bye.